Yo, what it is, young Casey Veggie. You're now tuned in to the Good is Gold show. Swag, swag. Look, I love the feeling of a fresh haircut, but the best part about being in a barbershop is the debates, hands down. Who you got in a fight, Prime Tyson or Prime Ali? Who's a better rapper, Biggie or Tupac? Is Ty Dolla Sign on his way to becoming the next Nate Dog? Goat talk? It's great. I love it. But I'm not here to tell you who I think the goat is in basketball. I'm just here to talk about the comparisons that we're hearing nowadays. And everybody can't seem to get enough of talking about Kawhi comparing him to MJ and Kobe. I mean, I see it. 6'6", cold-blooded monsters, mid-range killers, lockdown D in the perimeter, multiple finals MVPs. Look, I get it. No doubt. But that's where the comparisons begin and end. Because at the end of the day... There's only one really important two-word explanation that is going to just show you that these guys aren't comparable. It's blatantly obvious, too. Those two words, load management. (laughs) Load management, come on, man. You think competitive guys like MJ and Kobe ever considered to rest because of load management during the prime of their careers when, I don't know, those guys were going up against the league's reigning MVP in a nationally televised game in front of their home fans? Low management? Stop it. Sure, Kawhi won an NBA title last year. Okay, good. But we're not even three weeks into the NBA season. Eight games, Kawhi. You're in your ninth season. The NBA just can't let this continue. And I get they've decided to be the player empowerment league. It's a stars league. Cool. We love our stars. But not on the sidelines. And oh, look. KD, Steph, Clay, Paul George, John Wall, Zion. All hurt. And now Kawhi's sitting out because to him... The regular season doesn't matter? Not even on national TV in front of your home fans against the reigning MVP? And now, Steve Ballmer, when you're finally able to convince the world that your Clippers are finally a hot ticket in town, this is the giant middle finger you're shoving in front of your fans, in front of those season ticket holders that are paying good money. Because now you got Clipper fans essentially playing Russian roulette as they buy tickets to one game. Ooh, Clippers bucks. Giannis comes to town. Hey, Dad, can we go to the game? Uh, yeah, of course, son. Let me just, uh, let me just check the prices. I want to wear that brand new Kawhi jersey, dad. All right, buddy, let's do it. But I want you to know we got to hurry up because traffic's going to be bad. And, you know, we want to soak it all up when we see Kawhi and the Greek freak. Then you get the ESPN alert that comes in on your phone. Oh, man, dad, Kawhi's not even playing. You think ESPN and TNT are cool with this? You know what's about to happen when it's time for these networks to renegotiate, right? Look, Adam Silver, your players are telling the fans that the regular season essentially doesn't matter. Fine by us, but just let us know because we're not going to pay you as much. And guess what? That TV money lowers your revenue, lowers your salary cap, which takes money out of your players' wallets. Might want to consider going from 82 to less amount of games. But this needs to be fixed, period. And in the meantime... I refuse to accept Kawhi Leonard being compared to Kobe and Michael Jordan when those dudes would have never done this load management thing. Especially when you take a look at the career low of 35 minutes a game coming from LeBron James in year 17. Year 17, still more minutes than Kawhi, who is going to be sitting 25% of the season for, you guessed it, load management. What's up? It's Lamar Odom. What's up? It's Lamar Rose Jr. What's up? This is Ryan Garcia here. White Mama here with my boy Jake. And you're watching The Good as Gold Show. The Good as Gold Show. Good as Gold Show. And it is good as gold. One love. It's 